Republican Representative Thomas Massey decided to post a photo, a nice little holiday photo over the weekend and the timing couldn't be worse. Especially considering the fact that there was just a school shooting that led to four kids dying as a result of one of their classmates opening fire. So here's what the photo looks like. Thomas Massey tweets, Merry Christmas, P.S. Santa, please bring ammo. Every member of his family has a weapon on them and they all have big bright smiles. What a great, lovely photo. Now, of course, there was a lot of backlash to that image, especially from individuals who have actually lost family members as a result of America's lax gun culture. Fred Gutenberg, whose 14 year old daughter, Jamie, was one of the seven people, 17 people gunned down at in Parkland, Florida, responded to Massey's tweet writing this. Since we're sharing family photos, here are mine. One is the last photo that I ever took of Jamie. The other is where she is buried because of the Parkland school shooting. The Michigan school shooter and his family used to take photos like yours as well. And there was some backlash from other lawmakers as well, including Congressman John Yarmuth, who tweeted this. I promise not everyone in Kentucky is an insensitive a-hole. Yeah, Yarmuth is a retiring Democrat from Kentucky and actually one of the better Congress people in the country and has been for a couple of decades. Massey is a lunatic right winger from Kentucky. That's the difference. So put the picture back up because yeah, People are making great points, serious points. Gutenberg's point is the most salient, of course, and very touching. I, I, I'm just gonna tell you what I honestly think. I, I think they look like a family of lunatics out of a horror movie. I, I'm being t- completely serious. That looks like what you would run into in a horror movie, like, oh, hey, am I safe? And you, you're running from the monster or whatever and the killer, and then you knock on the door, and then this is what you see, and then you scream even louder. Because it's not just one person with a weapon that's scary. It's the whole family who, it, I don't know, and they have these deranged smiles on their face. Like, hey, murder's about to happen any second now. We have enough bullets here to kill a, a whole village, okay? <laughs> You've come to the wrong house on Christmas. I mean, yeah. but, but honestly, this is what's wrong with America. We are so split. That a lot of people look at that picture, millions of people in America look at that picture and go, "Atta boy." Yeah, I mean that's that's what I was gonna say. You don't find that photo appealing in any way because you're not the demographic that's being targeted by that image, right? The the people that would find that appealing are the very individuals who support Representative Massey anyway, right? And and they don't necessarily support Massey based on what he stands for policy wise. This is. This is just more of the, honestly, easy pandering to cultural issues. And in this case, it's the gun culture. Yeah, and and look, what's next? In the next Christmas photo album of the Masseys, they're gonna have like RPGs, you know, the fire shouldered rockets. They're gonna have hand grenades. Oh, We pulled it, after the picture, we're throwing it out the window. Or maybe we're not, I don't know, weapons are awesome. Oh, One of us has a finger on the nuke. We're thinking of nuking the whole town. Yay, violence, murder and violence, yay. And so we live with these folks. We live with millions and millions of these folks. Look, are there guns in other countries? Well, the answer is for most countries, barely, right? But but they exist in other countries. Is But is there a culture in other countries where they celebrate death, violence, guns, homicides, etc.? Yeah, but only a couple, like Afghanistan, the Taliban love the weapons, they love, they would have a picture almost exactly like that, right? Except they wouldn't give it to the women, so to be fair, right? In this case, oh, the women have murderous weapons too, who do we murder, yeah, right? You might find a couple like that in, in other war-torn countries and other fundamentalist countries. But I don't, there is no answer to this. There is some massive percentage of our country that thinks, Weapons of, uh, of you know that that are gonna that are designed to kill people, is like the greatest thing in the world, and and they, they it's a substitute for their penis, and it's a substitute for feeling safe and secure. Uh, in reality, of course, the more uh, if you have a weapon in your house, your chance of going uh, dying goes skyrocketing. Those are a matter of statistics and facts, but they don't care about facts. They have that many weapons in the house, including some that look like 
<laughs> they're out of some ridiculous Rambo movie. Yeah. Yeah. The it, chance of one of them dying is much, much, much higher than if they had no weapons in the house. So over the weekend, um, I interviewed an associate professor over at Harvard for Jacobin, and he's done a lot of extensive research on the incarceration rate in the United States, and you know how we incarcerate more people than um, any other developed country. And I promise this all connects. So the United States compared to other developed countries stands out in terms of its violence, in terms of violent crime. And part of the reason why is because the United States does not have a robust welfare state, right? And so that leads to people feeling this sense of insecurity, this lack of safety. They think they need the guns to protect themselves, which I, I get like that's a rational thought. And so People start arming themselves thinking that they are Rambo, thinking that they, they can protect themselves in, in any and all situations where someone poses a threat. But that gun culture has, has just kind of snowballed into what we see in that image, right? Part of it is political and cultural pandering, but part of it is also just this thought that guns are fun toys. When in reality, like if the right wing believes in the right to bear arms, they should take it seriously. They should treat it as a weapon that could do mass harm to people around them and they should you know they should be preaching responsibility with guns but they don't do that they treat it as a toy they treat it as if it's not a big deal at all and we just see more and more death and destruction as a result of that i mean we've had 32 school shootings in this country since august of this year 32 in 3 months it's crazy not mass shootings school shootings it's mass shootings are a much larger number because there's nonstop massacres in America. We call them mass shootings. There's a different word for it. It is very literal. It's massacre. We average one massacre a day in America, and it's because the right wing thinks it's awesome and really cool. We have come to accept it in America. We're like, oh, at any moment, any of us can get massacred by the right wing lunatics who walk around with around us and that have weapons all over them. And the minute any of them gets a little agitated, they're like, "Ah, oh, government tyranny, murder everyone, okay, or whatever." I, you know, I got thoughts running in my head, or I don't like you, or you're Antifa, or you threw a plastic bag at me, or you had Skittles in your pocket, whatever. Murder, 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 and and they celebrate it. John Bocino asked a good question. It was the same one I had. I had to look at this picture a couple of times. He's one of our members, tyt.com slash join to become a member, be part of the show. He said, is that a little girl pointing her gun at her mom's head? And I look carefully, it appears she's not pointing it at the mom's head, but it's close. And you know, obviously those weapons shouldn't be loaded, but are you sure they're not loaded? Look at the lunatic parents in the picture smiling broadly as they have these gigantic guns. And I guess the dad has the shortest penis. Because of like he has to overcome. Oh, look at this guy! I can murder dozens, maybe hundreds of people with this thing. Oh, I would be such a good murderer. Okay, right wing, enjoy, enjoy. But it's super scary. We live in a very, we live in a crazy country. And remember, the parents of the Oxford High School shooter are now facing involuntary manslaughter charges for making the gun so accessible to their 15-year-old son. And just after that, Massey thought it was a great idea to post that fit photo. He's a United States Congressman. And he's not the first one who's done this. They do this all the time. This yeah. is a common occurrence in Republican politics. And again, one last point. If you live in Japan or England or any other civilized country, you think, yeah, I know he's a Congressman for now. But obviously, he's not gonna get elected again after putting having a little kid in the picture with a high powered weapon. He looking like a lunatic, having his whole family look like a bunch of murderers ready to shoot themselves, each other, uh, people that come in, innocent people. Obviously, he's not gonna get elected again. Oh No, no, he'll, he'll win easily, easily. People look in his district, look at that and go, and that's what's really scary. They look at that and they go, oh yeah, man. They are ready for murder, I like these guys. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. 
So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.